You'd be forgiven for believing the U.S. is setting a course for self-immolation, with extremes of the left and right causing grief in government. Former President Donald Trump faces four charges related to attempts to overturn the result of the 2020 election. He was charged with conspiracy to defraud the U.S. These are serious charges that strike at the heart of American democracy. President Joe Biden has his own record with which to deal. His management of the economy is causing major headaches. Fitch, one of three major independent agencies that assess credit ratings, cut the U.S. rating down a notch from AAA to AA+. The U.S. is generally considered a secure risk, but Fitch said it had a steady deterioration in governance over the last 20 years. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen called the downgrade arbitrary and out of date. This is the benchmark by which lenders assess how risky it is to lend to the government and it could result in higher borrowing costs. That's bad news for a country that raised its debt ceiling to more than U.S. $31 trillion after a political showdown that almost resulted in the U.S. defaulting on its debts. Canadians like to be smug. Not so fast. We can't pretend we're above all that. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and members of his cabinet have faced numerous probes by the Ethics Commissioner. In 2019, Mario Dion ruled Trudeau had, directly and through his senior officials used various means to exert influence over Attorney General Jody Wilson-Raybould, violating the Conflict of Interest Act in the SNC-Lavalin scandal. In 2018, Minister Dominic LeBlanc was found by Dion to have breached conflict of interest rules in granting a clam license to a company that employed a family member. Trudeau was absolved in the We Charity Boondoggle. But his then Finance Minister Bill Morneau was found to have breached the Conflict of Interest Act. In 2021, when Minister Marrying was found to have broken ethics rules, Trudeau's response was to say that, it sucked. Mostly, it sucks for voters, both here and in the US, who must live with the result of bad judgment by our leaders.